Hey guys, it's Lynn, and you are watching Life Beyond the Silent Seat. So, yes, I'm back. Finally, after like, what is this? It's August 13th, 2018. Oh my goodness, it's been at least like four months or so since I recorded the video. Maybe even longer. I don't know. I didn't even check the date, but it's been a minute. So... The point of this video today is to kind of get back on track. I've just been so distracted. Summer came and it's almost gone. I've been looking for a house. So much has changed. I'm moving now. I found a house. Yay! But I wanted to come on and do an update of my breast reduction journey and finally update you guys on bras. So stay tuned. Okay, so I have had a breast reduction and of course I started recording this video and I was like, mm, I got on a black shirt. You can't even see. Well, that's a good thing. You can't see nothing because they probably would have been out to here now, but they, yeah, I ain't really got much of nothing now. I got a handful, y'all. Look at that. It's just a handful. But I went from a 36 double H to now I'm about a 38 double D or maybe a D. So the journey was amazing. Like it was painful, um, but it was worth it in the end because I feel so much comfortable like this summer getting dressed, going to the pool, going to the beach and amusement parks and stuff with the kids, you know, just everyday life has gotten so much easier since this surgery it was well worth anything that I went through time off from work not being able to have my kids lay on me not being able to pick up anything and do stuff for myself um, it was worth it I would do it again a million times over um, so I didn't really have many complications I did have issues with my stitches coming out underneath so that took a little bit long to heal, which you can see in previous videos. I'll link it here. Um, I did have a little bit of irritation around my nipples. But other than that, it was, you know, pretty cool. It took maybe about four months to heal. About four months before I got into a regular bra. And since then, I guess I had the surgery in October. October 15, 2017, I had the surgery, and this is basically going to be like an update on the bras that I found. And I see here in March is when I got my first set of bras. So, November, December, January, February, March. Yeah, about five months. So, um, it took that long for me to get sized one and to find bras that I liked, that I was comfortable in. So, I'm actually going to unbox. A bra and then I'm going to show you all the ones that I purchased so I subscribe to adore me this is not an ad this is not sponsored this is not paid I wish it was paid honey I'm paying for this stuff but I subscribe to adore me so every month I get a different package with a bra and panty set in it which I love because being big boobed I've never had matching bra and panties like if I bought a black, a black bra, I found black panties, but never actually had a matching set, never purchased a matching set. So this has been very nice. They actually have sets, um, and they are $39.95 a month. It's a recurring subscription, so every month they email you or text you and let you know, oh, your credit has hit. You can go and shop. You can skip the month if you don't want to purchase anything. Or you can just let it roll over and I've let it roll over before so a couple times I've purchased like more than one outfit more than one bra and panty set I even purchased a bathing suit so I'll show you all that and um, yeah let me get into it so in March when I when I got sized I was sized at a 40 double D and I was like yeah but I was still swollen so no I was sized at 40 D I'm sorry 40 D um, but I was still swollen I'm not I don't think I'm swollen now. I am numb, like under my arms, like on the sides here. So from about like the outside of my nipple to under my arms, I am still pretty numb there. So I don't know how long that's going to last. Um, 
But other than that, I feel pretty good. Knocking stuff over. So my first purchase from Adore Me was, I'm going to show you my bras. I've worn them. They've been washed. Whatever. I actually just washed them and let them hang dry. Uh, so I have this. I don't have the panties. I don't know. They're somewhere in the wash. But I purchased this set. This is a Benina Unlines Plus. And I actually purchased this with um, the hipster bottom. And this is a 40D. Now, I like this, but it's like a little bit too flimsy up in here. So I feel like I kind of fall, like it droops down, it falls out. So I don't think this is the right fit anymore. It fit really good when I first got it in March, but I think since some of the swelling is going down, this doesn't fit as well. And the same goes for this. This is a Dallas, D-A-L-I-S, unlined. And it just seems like it's a little bit too much cup. So, but I got this with the hipster. Now, the one thing I did notice is the hipsters run really big. So, I purchased, they sell small, medium, large, OX, 1X. So, I purchased a large and then I purchased an OX. I'm about like a size 10, 12. So, I didn't know which size I was going to fit or be comfortable in. So, I purchased both. Um, the fit isn't too far off, but the OX is bigger, but the large is also big. So I'm confused on their bottom sizes. Um, I also have this Kiara contour, which I love. Okay. I love this. This is a racer back and it snaps here in the front. So it's like a little Demi push up. And this racer bag, this is very comfortable. I love this. I love this so much. I purchased two. Um, and I bought this with a hipster as well. And the hipster, you know, the fit isn't really there. But this was a good one too. This is the Kiara Contour. Um, my first purchase, like I just went all out. But I think your first purchase, you get like three sets for $24.99 a piece or something like that. Um, let me see if I can pull it up on the computer really quick. I was just looking at it. Um, so when I did that, I just purchased several just to make sure I had different options and see what I could go from. I have my order right here. Yeah, I purchased four styles and let me see if I can see my order details. Yeah, the total was 119 for the first purchase. So it came down. The original prices is like $50 and $40 per a piece. But my subtotal was $190. I got $90, $70 off. Free shipping and handling. So that wasn't bad. So I got four sets, four bra and panty sets for $120. I don't think that's bad at all. Considering coming from wearing a double H where I had to spend like $80 on one bra. So that was good. All right, so my second batch was this right here, this Loretta Unlined. Now, I love this. This is a 40D. This fits really good. So I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out which ones work best and don't. So this is an Unlined. It's not a push-up. I feel like it's a full coverage. And then this one I have it on. You can't really see it too good, but this is the Persia Unlined. So the Lorella and the Persia, and I purchased these two. And I, this one is like, this is just my lounge around. I, it doesn't really do anything for me. This one holds me up a lot better than this one does. So this is the Lorella and the Persia Unlined. And when I made this purchase, they had a special going on, so I got a free tote bag. Where's the tote bag? Upstairs, so I don't know. So my third purchase in May, I went a little crazy too. So once you purchase five or six, once you purchase one, two, three, four, once you purchase five, you get one free. So in May, I was able to get one free since I purchased four already. And then the next month I got my two, the next month I got one free. So I ended up getting 
push up. This is a Fifi push up. Now it was summertime, it was May, so I was like, okay, I need a strapless. So this I can wear with the straps or without the straps. And it is a push up. It is padded in the inside, which it doesn't really bother me. You know, it just, I feel like it doesn't really make me fuller. It just pushes me up like I like, um, which I need because I feel very naked up in this area, which nobody can understand, but I feel very flat up here because I'm so used to having, you know, all that spilling over. But I purchased this and I love this. And once I noticed the first set of bras getting too big, I went down. So this is actually a 38 double D. And I think I'm actually going to go down again to a 38 D just to see how it fits. Um, I also purchased the first bra. This is the, um, what's the name of this? This is a Leah contour. So this is just like the first one, the first razor back. I loved it so much. I ordered a black one. So now I have to, uh oh, did I just mess it up? Oh no, I think it's messed up. Okay, I'll play with it later. But this is the same as the first. <clears throat> it's a racer bag, snaps in the front, push up. I love this. Like, I can't go wrong with this. So, I have two of those now. And then I ended up getting a bathing suit, which I wore. I took a picture. I'll see if I can add it in here so you can see how it looks on. Um, it's just a regular large. No padding, nothing special, no pull up. It, Ties around the back, crisscross over the shoulder, so it's very comfortable. Um, this is the Cameron, and it came with the high-waisted bottom with the little design on the sides. Yeah, I love this. This is very, it was very comfortable. It covered up, you know, my I had two kids' pouch that was covered up. Um, the one thing that I noticed with this is the scars from the reduction. You're not cut straight across, but they meet kind of like right here. So in this, I could see the scars a little bit. It didn't bother me, but I did notice that. That was that was the only thing. But this was very comfortable. Like, I can't believe I actually fit this. Like, my whole boob fits this. Like, before surgery, this would have just been a nipple cover or like a little slingshot. But it looks really nice on. And then my last batch, um, I like that first one so much, I ordered another one, so I got blue. And this one, I don't know why, it's the same exact size, same style, same cut and everything, but it just fit different, and I don't understand why. So I ended up taking the padding out to see if that helped, and it did a little bit, and I ended up, look at that, snapping the hook. I was upset about that, but it's okay. I'm still gonna wear it, I'm just gonna wear it as a strapless bra, but um, all of these I also got with the bottoms. Um, the one thing I did note is this bra, I don't even think I showed this one. This is the Abelina contour. It's supposed to be like a little t-shirt bra. I don't like this. I don't get it. It's like a mommy bra. Don't like it at all whatsoever. Um, I ordered it with a thong, um, a large thong. It was way too small. It looked like a small. I didn't even try to put on, so... Yeah, this one was not my favorite. Does it say? No. And I had worn it and washed it. I just, I don't know. I can't get with this one. So, without further ado, I ended up, I was on here with my last credit, and they had a box where you could select, <clears throat> where you didn't have to choose what styles you want it because there's they have such a big selection everything's really nice but I was like okay let's try this so I selected this box and it just said three bras I don't know what's in it so we're about to open it up and see I didn't select the styles I just selected my size and was like all right let's do it so that's what this is let's open it and see what's in here hope you understood that now, normally it's about $39.99. Sometimes you can find some on sale for $25. This, or in summer, $49. This box was $49.95 for the three. 
So let me see if it tells me in my order history um, so I can tell you the names of the bras. Let me go back again. I'm sorry, I should have had this up. Yes, this is called a three pack surprise bra. It's a mix it up. Three pack surprise bra mix. And it doesn't give me any details on here. So it was $49.95. It came pretty quick. So let's see what's in here. I hope it's not something I already have. Oh, there's like a little sample thing in here. What is this? Moisturizing tint medium sheer healthy glow from Chanel. Thanks, Chanel. I mean, I don't know who medium is going to. Because my skin ain't on none of these, but uh. It's okay. Alright, so let's see what's in here. So I do notice it's not any sets, it is individual pieces. Oh, this is pretty. This is one that was in my wish list, actually. Does it tell me what it is? This is... Is that the name? Raisin? I don't know. Does it say on here? It doesn't say on there what it is, but I'll find out what it is. So this is pretty. It's a nice little, looks like a push-up. Do the straps come off? No, the straps don't come off. So I'm excited to wear this. I know the color is raisin. It's cute, huh? You like this one? Let's see what else is in here. <clears throat> this is a pretty color. I get to mix it up some. Ward. I don't know. I really have to go research what the names of these are. Oh, this is pretty. Oh my God, it looks so tiny. Look at this little cup. Like, I can't believe my boob is this big, y'all. Like, for real. This kind of looks like that first one that I really like. But this is pretty. I like this. I like surprises. So, I like that I didn't get to choose these and they chose something for me. This is really pretty. I feel like my scar is going to show through there, but that's okay. Nobody will see it. It's a bra. It'll go underneath. Ooh, this is a 32 double D. Oh no, she's got to go back. Uh oh. How'd that happen? Uh oh, maybe that's why it looks so small. <laughs> about that one okay this is a 38 double day oh this is like the black one I have that I like so much so I guess I'll have two of those now yep the clasp is a little bit different and this one's got some extra padding in the inside but this is pretty too so the rates are back well, I'm excited about these. I'll get to wear these too. I have to send this one back. Now, this would be my first experience with having to send something back. So I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work. So I guess I'm going to have to call them and see. Maybe that's why this looks so small. But this is really pretty. I do want this back. I just want the right size. So we'll see. But that is about it for now. Now, if you guys have ever, <clears throat> if you've ever used Adore Me, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'll do another vi another video. I can't talk. I'll do another video and kind of, I'll have a more fitted shirt on. I wasn't really thinking when I got dressed this morning that I was going to record. But I'll do another one and kind of show you a little closer up of the boobs. Maybe I'll do it in the bathing suit so you can really see it. I should have did it in one of the bras so you can see how they fit. But whatever, it's getting late. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. And I'll let you guys know how it goes with me sending back that bra. Because that's going to be my first time doing that. And it's okay. 
But that's about it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being so patient. I'm going to try to get more videos out. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the share button if you know anybody that's had a breast reduction or is considering having one. Or even somebody who is in need of bras. You know, Adore Me is a very good option. Or little girls, they have all different sizes. So share, 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 share. Like and comment and... I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, leave comments below, you know, share. all that good stuff. Make sure share. you share, share, share. You hear my daughter in the background? She's saying share. <laughs>